It's obviously a, a special day, um, a heartfelt day for a lot of people in the San Antonio community and far, far beyond. Um, and tonight we get to acknowledge and um, say thank you to all the sacrifice and, and years of um, hard work and sweat and tears that he's not only put into the San Antonio Spurs but um, obviously far beyond. Um, he's left a legacy that um, goes beyond what happens on the court um, but it's been his, his passion, his energy, his competitiveness for the game that has really affected teammates, coaches um, and fans right across the world. So I'm very honoured to be in a situation of being his teammate and uh, being a, a close friend of his for, for so many years. So tonight will be, will be very special and, and heartfelt um, and I'm sure a, a lot of emotion and and probably not a dry eye in the building, so uh, really, really looking forward to tonight. Who make the best decision to take some coffee? You or mine, or Boris Dio? <laughs> uh, look, you know, those, it, it's, a, you know it's, it's a serious question because when you think about the memories of, of what happens, you know, you'll never forget the big three-pointer or the big left-hand dunk or the, the, you know, magic pass or uh, anything that happens on the court, you know. Um, for me, you, you know, you'll never forget those moments that we have off the court. Um, and I think that's, that's the most special one because he, he has been such a, a role model to, to myself and um, having an impact on my professional career. Um, and that's all been done off the court, at dinner, at restaurants, at coffee places. Um, and we've created a, a, a very unique bond um, through that. So um, it's been special. What's your favorite memory of, of Manu as a teammate or as, as a friend? Well, he was, he was first. Um, you know, it, it's being able to capture and cherish those moments. Um, so to be honest, you know, we, we've captured a lot, of, a lot of great memories. And I think um, by him doing that is probably my, my favorite moment of his. Um, because, you know, you can easily slide through... A, a, a time um, of this environment and you can easily forget those things um, but f you know for him to be able to head the fact of, of us capturing these moments and, and putting it down um, in a few books ov over the years has been s very special so that we can go back and, and you know and remember those memories so um, you know the, those ones those ones are for us. Did he ever teach you guys any Spanish? Did, did you ever learn any Spanish from him? Yeah, a couple of words here and there. Um, obviously, especially when Tiago was was here, that was um, you know all we ever heard. But uh, you know that that was the best thing about about our our team, and and he was the head honcho of that. We had so many people from all around the world, um, and, and he was the one that really um, focused on getting to know everyone, so that we could get along as a team and 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 grow as a team in the locker room, so that we could trust each other on the court. And and he figured out that. You know, we can't go anywhere on the court unless we know about e each other off the court. So for him to really um, hone in on that was, was huge, and that's something that we obviously still do today. Eddie, is he one of the smartest? It seems like what made him so remarkable is that even some of the magic passes that didn't work out were remarkable in itself. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and, and you know, you, those ones won't make the highlight reel, of course. You, you, you always remember the ones that that connected and, and were finished but um, you know there were a lot of attempts that he made to, to get it right um, but that was him as as a person you know was always a, was always a trickster would always try new stuff that you know was you know is that competitive guy I try to pull off tricks whether it had to do with a basketball or a soccer ball or any object you know there was always games for him and and that was him you know throughout a, a organization that was um, you know strict on how the system is and the culture is um, he was the guy that kept things light you know especially when you know there is a, a you know a losing streak or there are tough times um, he was that that guy that brought that that light sort of mood to the group but understanding that you know the, the focus was still there so um, yeah
Patty, what made him beyond the stats and everything else, the highlights, right? what made him the player that he, or so popular with the fans? Was it his grit, the passion, all of it? But, you know, he was arguably one of, not, you know, one of the most popular guys in franchise history. Yeah, look, I think the San Antonio community um, just really bought into someone that they could connect with really well, um, given the culture. And, and for him, he... he he connected with the fans, um, and that's the best thing I think that you know I've seen anyone do was um, I guess expose or promote, you know, not necessarily promote. That's probably a bad word, but he let everyone know that he's just a regular guy, and I think that's what really you know fans really connected with. And and at the end of the day, you know, he is, and 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 we'll go to eat, and and you know, it's just us catching up as as friends and. For him to do what he does on the court and have the legacy that he that he has, and still be Manu, that's um, that's impressive in itself. So. Smartest athletes here, people you better forget about athletes. People, his intellectual. Oh, for sure. So, you know, yeah, no question. And and that's you know that's definitely something that one of the best things that I've learnt from him was um, was his curiosity and and just sitting and watching how he would interact with other teammates and other people and ask questions um, was something that, that I learned, you know, on, on, on being curious and, and, you know, broadening your horizon of, of learning different things, um, whether you're familiar with, you know, that topic or not. Um, so, you know, I think it's fair to say that during my time in San Antonio, I've grown into the, you know, the man that I'm am or, or becoming to be a, a large part because of, of Manu and what I've learned from him. Can we say bad things about Manu? Because always good. Of course. <laughs> he, he has to have bad things as a friend. Yeah. Just make one. Yeah, he's not all, you know, <laughs> sweet fairy comments, but uh, um, one bad comment. Yeah, look, it's... Um, Did he invite you to Argentina? You, to there's about vacation? 99 going through my head right now, but I, I think I'll save them. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll save them. <laughs> How does an event like tonight impact the game? Does it give you guys more fuel, or does it, do you have to stay focused a little bit knowing what's coming afterwards? Oh, uh, look. Last year with Tim, that helps, I'm sure. I'll, that was a couple of years ago. I, I think I, I think it's different this year because we probably have me, Manu, um, me, Manu. See, look, that's what usually happens. But me, uh, LA, Bryn, and and Davis are probably the only ones that have played with him on on on, on this year's team. You know, so um, for the impact that he had on on certain players, um, you know, I'm probably the the only guy that will feel the the energy and and be able to play with that energy in a game like this I, I can't speak for anyone else but this is a, a new team this is new guys um, maybe they'll feel that as well I'm not sure um, but I, I'll definitely you know feel the passion and and uh, and play with that same energy and passion that he always played with thank you